G'day guys, Batch here. Welcome back to the channel. We're trying to get us a wolf. It's the wolf! It's the wolf! Now we're at Timber Gold Trails. One of my favourite maps in the Hunter Classic. I've been here for ages. And I gave him a squeak of the elk wolf squeaker. <coughs> what do you want to call the thing? We had some wolf's call. I can see one. I can actually see one. It's in there. There, right there, big black one. Now there's going to be a hole. Oh, there's one really, really close. Oh, wee, wow, wee, that is super close. Oh my god, it's right on me. Look at it. He ran. Wow, I didn't expect him to sneak up that close. Now I'm not sure all his mates might have ran off now. So that could be failed, but I am heading to a, a tower I got set up down here, which is one of my best wolf locations on this map. Oh, they just keep coming and going, coming and going through there. So it's an ideal s spot to just sit and wait. Now we do have a problem on this map because we have grizzly bears. Usually I bring my big bear gun and a pistol. It's like a 454 to take care of them. I'm not allowed to shoot them. So if I do get attacked, I will be dying. Now because that one wolf got so close and ran off, his little buddies have gone with him. So I'm going to show you the map and where we're headed to. None of them crossed the river, did they? Sometimes you catch them crossing the river. You get a nice easy shot in. But yeah, nice to see there's some wolves about today. Let's double check up here. And it looks like we have scared them off. Bit of a bad thing, what are you going to do? Alright, let's check the map. I'm not going to head to here. First, we're going to hang around here. Got another tower there. All along this river is good for wolves. So, got another tree stand here, which is an excellent spot for wolves. So, we will be getting some today. Oh, stand up. So, I'm going to make my way to this other tower. And hopefully on the way. We got a wolf or two. They haven't hunted here for I don't know. Could be <laughs> well, it's definitely well over a year. I think the last time I was here, I was with Ali, and we both had a license, so we could shoot everything. But now I don't do that. I'm a free hunter. So there's a carcass there. Now that's like a you know where wolves come and and they'll go and feed on that, and you have them spread out across the map. So when you do see a carcass, you can stalk the area a bit. Wolves will travel through. They will have a go at that. And we have a mule deer really close. One of my favourite deers in this game, actually, the mule deer. And I can't shoot them. But when they are up for a free hunt, I'm going to come here and do a nice mule deer hunt. I've got some real beauties on this map. I think the biggest mule deer in the game are on this map. So, we will be back for them when I can hunt them. But today, apparently there's a wolf overpopulation thing going on here or some crap. I don't know. So, we're going to thin them out a bit. And they're always fun to hunt. I know it sounds weird. Fun to hunt dogs. I've got Buster with me. Don't listen, Buster. <laughs> I don't mean Labradors. I mean wolves. And they're... You know, a lot bigger than a fox or a coyote. So they're pretty cool. For a while there, I had like, um, oh, about a couple of hundred of us did, had, uh, like, I had the second highest wolf in the game. That would be cancelled out by now, because that was years ago. But I did get lucky and got a huge one one day here. Oh, there's one there, see? There we are, there's one there. So I'll bring out the onswanch, <laughs> I call it. Like a German gun. Oh man. It's gonna be a hard shot. Oh, I don't think I hit that at all. I've just scared the forest, man. 
Uh, we'll go look for blood and make our way to that tower because that's where that tower is, around about there. We'll walk in and out there all the time. They cross the river, so let's go check it out. No, we have hit it. I've just I was looking through my binoculars here. It looks like wolf down. I think it's down. Let's go check it out. How do I run again in this game? Let's hit C. I was playing um, Hunter Primal on the weekend. I get so confused. I go from Hunter Primal to Call the Wild to this. Yes, we have got the little bugger. Now, one shot off that gun. Took it down. That's not a bad looking wolf. Let's check it out. 107 meters. We sort of hit the body somewhere. It's not really telling me. We just hit the body. Harvest value 94.2, a score of 14. So, you know, sort of not too bad. And a wound time of 3.4 seconds. So, and its rarity was common, so it's not rare at all. It's a female. So let's get to this tower. Okay, I've gotten in the tower. And usually there's a carcass over there. What are they? Like antlers you can collect? Let's go over and have a look. Usually there's a carcass there, and that's why the wolves come through. They come across the lake, the river there. So, I'm just going to walk over. I want to see, can I get out of here? I'm going to check out, what are these antlers? Are they collectibles, or are they just attached to a carcass and I can't see it? What is going on? I hear ducks, or geese, or something. Oh, there. Oh, it's the crows. That's what it is. Ah, oh, I forgot about them. Very noisy buggers. And once you shoot the gun, they do fly off if you're in the area. So if you don't like the sound, just shoot the gun. And I'll bugger off. Oh, let's check these antlers. I saw a nice mule deer back there. Heard a grizzly. Oh, we're out here, though. So can I collect these? Hello. I need a hunter, mate, to do this. Yes, yeah, so I got a collectible. Rocky antler. The Rocky elk antlers. There's like Rocky and Bullwinkle almost. Oh, right, we're going to go back to this tower. I'm going to start using the squeaker. One of the weirdest sounding callers in the game. As I'm recording now, it sounds like someone's playing a drum out the front of my house. Like, what the hell is going on with these people? Shut up! Damn it. I haven't made a video in ages. As soon as I do, it looks like someone's got a bongo drum or some crap out there. I need a buster to sit down. Where are you? Sit. I don't know where he is. He's around there somewhere. He's a good dog. Oh, it's really noisy outside. So I'm going to stop recording for a sec. We'll try and call a wolf or two in. Let's see how we go. Oh, there's a wolf there. There's one right there. Alright, so we've got three mule deer. This map's popping, look at that. And a wolf who I'm not sure is going to come to the call. Alright, the mule deer's aware that there is a wolf there. there. Look, you can see him running off now. So, he's hanging around. He might be coming in for the call. Looks like a male. Looks pretty big, actually. So, get the squeaker toy out again. Yeah, you really got to keep your eyes open here. Especially with wolves. They're so quick. They will just run off in a heartbeat if something upsets them. Or they suss that you're there. Now, I think he might come across the river and have it. Yeah, there's the bigger one. See, there he is there. He's a bit bigger, probably. All right. Show me the wolf. He's alone. Yeah, it's a male. 55 to 90. 14 to 17. So it's probably about 15. Score of 15. I'm going to squeak him again. Because I'd like him a bit closer. And so the mule deer... Oh, there could have been four mule deer. I saw another one at the back. And the wolf's in the water. Wolf is in the water. Uh, that's a that's a pretty. Uh, so we've got three, four, four mule deer. Oh, don't do that game! I know I'm not allowed to shoot them. Yeah, they're probably like four brothers. 
Oh, they do hang around, like I said, the males will hang around together. Now see, <laughs> if I was allowed to hunt the mule deer, I'd call them in and I'd start the bow and arrow, probably. So the other ones wouldn't spook too bad. Just nice this map. I still love looking at the wildlife here. Even when you weren't having, you know, a shoot sometimes, you just sit back and watch what happens. Especially when you've got a whole, like a little group of wolves, maybe seven or eight together. They're really fascinating to watch because they'd play around. They'd jump and play. You could tell they were a family. And there'd be one that was an alpha. And let's call him again. I reckon he's coming to the call because he's ignoring the mule deer. And mule deer really don't know I'm here. Look at that, he's come all the way across the river there. Just want to check out around me as well. Usually if there's a carcass in that little paddock what we're looking at there, you will get more wolves coming through. But since there's not, I have to rely on a squeaker. Alright, when he gets a bit more closer, I'm going to take him. As like I said, they're, they're pretty sensitive, these dogs. And I might use the 30-06, I'm told it's called. People get mad at me because I say it wrong. Remember, I am a gamer. I'm not a gun expert. I am from Australia. We're not allowed to have guns. There we go, nice headshot. That's put him down. And the mule deer are off now, for sure. So, let's get out and have a look. We'll re reload this. Oh, I can't. I have to put another packet of bullets in. All right, we've still got four shots, so I won't waste any of them. Let's have a look at our friend here. Hey, not bad. I'm going to get Buster to come over and might take a photo. There he comes. There he comes. Cheeky boy. Come over here, Buzzy. Come up here and meet your mate. Look at that. He's a bit bigger than you, I think. Although you might be a bit fatter. Alright, so only 30 metres. We hit the skull, left lung, shoulder blade and heart. So that bullet travelled through his skull. Down, probably just missing that bone and through there somehow. Hit him in the heart. I don't know, it came through there. Nice shot. Wind time of zero. And that's yeah, it was a 15.788. So that's not a bad size wolf. It's actually a pretty good wolf. I am in a competition, three, you know, heaviest wolves or whatever it's called. Three largest wolves. Ah, that's just, that's not a bad photo. It looks like he's pretty angry as he's being shot through the head by me, of course. So we'll accept that and we'll get back in the tower. We'll give another couple of calls and see how we go. I think I see a grizzly over there. Oh, yes, I do. And I'm not allowed to shoot it. There we go. It's a male. 250 to 350 kilo. Score of 21 to 27. Now we should be safe here. We're on the other side of the river. I've left tower 1. Going to head down near the tower 2. Now that's my biggest problem is bears. Because if one runs at me. Which I've had happen a lot here. And you're okay. A lot of the times when you've got a gun. I like that big pistol. The El Toro. Or whatever the hell it used to be called. I've still got it would take a bear out in one hit but unfortunately can't shoot them today so I'm gonna have to be very careful oh look at that over there, we've got a red wolf that looks like the male and they're running up that hill now I've given a couple of calls, I'm gonna get Buster to sit now I'm not sure what the wind's doing here and sometimes it says a carcass around the wolf won't come Let's try and get eyes on him again. They run up free there. Like I said, they move quick. Oh, we had that big male just there. Where is he? Oh, I can't even see it now. We had there, there they are at the back. Look. Maybe they heard the call. Let's give another couple of squeaks. Now I'm in crouch position here. Buster's sitting, so we're pretty invisible. 
but the wind, I don't know, it's not very strong, but looking at the leaves that fell off that tree, it seems to be blowing that way a little bit. So I'm really going to have to be careful, because being dogs, or wolves, <laughs> you know, they can smell from a mile away, and here. So that's why they're a sneaky hunt. Now, have they left? Did they leave the area now? See, along this river, they do traverse along here a lot. And sometimes there's a big carcass sitting in this paddock, which doesn't appear to be today. There's Tower 2 there that I put up. See, mule deer at the back. That's why I put that tower there. It's a nice spot for mule deer. And now we have a female elk answering my elk call. And do we have a wolf there? Oh, man, look at them run. Look at that one playing around. That's a male, 14 to 16. What do you spot? A female. Oh, they're sniffing. All right, this is where we've got to be careful. Where'd our black friend go? That was a beautiful looking wolf. I like the dark ones. Now, they've heard the squeak. So. And there's an elk over there across the river. Oh, there's a couple of them, actually. Oh, it's crap eyes on these wolves again. I might take a shot. Oh man, they're so fast. Look, it is right on top of me. Oh, they're running, running, running. got one. Alright, let's reload this gun. Another packet of bullets. Ah, what? Ah, here, here, sorry. Game's freaking me out. Alright, let's get our one wolf. You can see, see how quick they were on top of me? Like, I didn't even realise they were that quick. I should have shot them when I saw them a bit further away. I might have got two. Because by the time you hit one, the others didn't turn. All right, let's find this friend of ours here. Now, this long grass is a real pain. You can lose animals. Now, I didn't spot the red one. There it is there. All right, we can see it. They're dead. Let's run up and collect it. Beautiful. And the buster come? Yes. Good boy. Now this game is going to be hard to squash down the grass. Is this the dead one? Yes, here we are. See, I got stuck on it then. I can't really squash stuff down, which is bad. I like this colour too, the red colour. It's beautiful. Alright, we've got a female. It's going to be small, only 14. 73 metres and wound time is zero. And we hit it in the left lung. And hind leg, so it's gone through its back leg to there. I might take a quick trophy shot. Let me get Buster in. I can't be in it. Because I don't pay anymore. I'm not allowed to be in the shots. Alright, let's bring him around that way. Oh, that looks a bit weird. Uh, up there, boy. Get your head up. There you are. That's not bad. Oh, there's a lot of grass in the way. There we go. We've got some more crows flying around in a circle. When you look under them, there, see that? There's a carcass there. So wolves will come for that. We are now on the bridge. So they haven't heard the gun from when I shot before. They haven't spooked. You can see we're up here on the bridge. And the good thing is about this, like a bear can't come on here and attack you. No animals come on the bridge at all. They'll walk by it. You know, the closest I'll get is that road there. They'll walk across that road. But they won't come on the bridge. Alright, that's where their mother wolves were before. Over there. We did get one. There's about another five with them. So just going to sit here for a little bit. Oh, what's that running? Get up, stand up. It's running fast. Oh, it's big male elk. Look at that. That's not a bad one. 
There we go, the Rocky Mountain Elk. That is between 220 and 405. My biggest elk on this map was a 440, I think. It was huge. It was really big. Wow, look at that. That is not a bad looking elk, is it? Once again, I can't shoot it. No license. And I would take that. <laughs> I would take that elk. In a heartbeat, not a problem. I did hear him call. Wasn't paying much attention. Then he's walked out in the middle of the river there. Beautiful looking beast. Look at that. They do the antlers in this game far better on all the animals than they do in Call of the Wild. Uh, that, look at that. Look at that rack. Man, that is beautiful. Oh, well. Back to the wolves. Okay, there we go. Got a wolf way over there. Man, that is pretty far away. Yeah. I got the male elk. Sounds like it's over there somewhere. Let's call this wolf. Because I'm on the bridge, he might not know where to go. So, well, oh, there was another wolf running across the river, I think. Something really hoovered up there fast. Yeah, look. There's two of them. Oh, man. Where are they going to go, though? You're a nice size wolf, that one. That is not bad. I might be able to get a shot at this one. Oh, man. Yeah, it's down, it's down, we've hit it. We're going across to get it. Uh huh, beautiful. Oh, what happened then? I'll put my sunglasses on somehow. How did I do that? Oh, there we go, Sid. I went to run. Press the wrong button. That's a beautiful gun, this. Apparently it's German engineered. So, you know, it's going to be good. Germans have some of the best engineers in the world, don't they? Come on, buddy. There you are. Alright, so another wolf. So just sitting up here on this bridge. You never know what you're going to find. <laughs> it busts the run across the bridge. I don't know if you heard that. It just sounded funny. Alright, let's find our friend down here. Another four-legged friend. This one might be a good size one. Come up as a good score. Alright, so we shot it down here somewhere. What are you? Oh, you're a D. You're probably that elk. You see how quick they run. Not an instant death. That was probably about three seconds. Two seconds it took to go down. Looks like we've hit him in the neck. It's not too bad. I got a good photo up here. Here, Buster. Let's have a game to come and sit ne next to it. Is it going to come? Come here. Come here, boy. Come here. Ah. Damn you, dog. Harry, look at him. So excited. Alright, sit. Oh, you've moved the wolf, dude. Man, you're a crazy buster sometimes. Alright, let's take a photo. Alright, 64.4, 3.5 seconds, 15.591, maybe that was my best wolf of the day. And I'm positioned 68 in the biggest grey wolf intermediate. So not too, <laughs> not doing too flash in the competition. And really, if you want to win a competition in this game, you'd pretty much have to come nearly every day while the competition's on the hunt the wolves. And there we go, look at that. I'm loving that photo. That is a beauty. There he is, he got stuck on a pole. Come on, get on the bridge, mate. A bit worried he might jump off or something crazy. Be nice if a whole pack came to that. I'll use the 30 OT 6 O double T, I think it is OT. I'll just say 30 O 06. Like we live in Australia, we're not allowed to have guns. Oh, where'd my dog go? 
we are allowed to have dogs and I've lost mine. So that's why we're not allowed to have guns. We can't even keep track of our dogs. Damn you crazy dog. He didn't fall through the thing, did he? He didn't jump off, did he? Where'd my dog go? Buster! You crazy dog. I said come here, I didn't say run off or call him again. Oh, there he's stuck again. Come, come. He's having problems on this end of the bridge. He's getting stuck on this pole. He was on the bridge. Why did you run back here, dude? Here, boy. Come on. Come on. This way, this way. There we go. Now straight, straight, straight. Run straight, run straight. Follow me, follow me. Alright. You crazy bloody dog. That's it. Straight. Run straight. And we're good. Now we just relax. There you go. Damn, you crazy dog. Oh, right, we'll sit up here a little bit more. Just in case we get a wolf or two crossing the river. Or coming here. To our bait. That has been placed there by the game. And that always changes. They're never in the same spot. So that's one good thing. Let's have a look along this river. But the wolves do stand out. They do have the white on them, even the darker ones. They do stand out around this map. And it's, it's a very colourful map. It is in autumn all the time here. No, there are no fish in the water. I can call the wild. But yet, I'm really, I really enjoy this map. I used to come here a lot when I had a license and do a lot of hunting. And this is my first time back. I'd say in well over a year. Very nice to be back. Let's go look at this carcass. And not appear to be too many tracks around it. Oh, speed limit's 40. I better not run too fast. I actually have the jeeps in this game now, don't they? But none of the devs, they never make anything that goes fast in this game anyway. I'll look all the while, they all go slow. Look at that, it has been chewed up a bit, it's female. So what Buster does. Pretty nothing. Have a look mate, fetch! <laughs> That'd be able to pick that one up, it's a bit big. Ah, oh, wee, it's pretty dead. This map at the moment. It's very just the change. You go from Call of Wild, which is a bit more arcadey, to this, and this is a bit more of a serious hunter. So, patience is required. But see, on this map, I can only hunt the one animal. So I'm going to call it quits in a minute, because, I don't know. If I had white tail here, at least I'd have another animal to shoot, but we don't have them. Now there is the bobcat out there that I can go hunt as well, but once I could go to um, Logger's Point. Then we'd have pheasant, white tail, and the bobcat. But I might hang out until we um, get mule deer and I'll come back then, because there are a lot of mule deer on here. That bus to go for a swim, we'll just go for a walk in the middle of the river. As you can see, it's a beautiful map. And it is huge. This is a big map. Can you see something walk behind that bush then? No, I must be seeing things. And it says there's a towel there. I might go have a look at that. Just check that area out one more time. Come on, Buster. All the Labradors I've had in real life love the water. I used to go fishing and take the dog. And also Lake Tilden, a pretty big lake. I was fishing for trout and redfin. And you know, the dog never went too far away from where I was. So I cast it out and I'm sitting there checking the rods. And next minute, there's my dog out in the middle of the lake, swimming past me. <laughs> Unbelievable. I had to call it in. But they just love to swim, the Labradors. They got a little town up here as well. See the houses up there? They're just up in there. 
And there is, oh, there's a male elk there. Look at that. He hasn't seen us. That's not a bad one. That is between 190 and 375. Probably the lower end of that. It's not a bad looking one. So and that's the things that when I see here and I can't shoot them. Then there's no wolves about. I think uh, it's time to quit. I'm just watch him walk down. Yeah, well, you know, there's a ton of elk around here. That's a nice one. That's the second nice male we've seen. Not too bad. And he hasn't spotted us, smelt us, or hurt us. So, we'd get a nice kill shot on that if I was allowed to shoot it. And there's no carcass in this paddock. So that tower's good. You used to be able because you can see right across the river there. And you can see the big elk, big elk walking along, or bears. So, yeah. They're portable towers. They're ones you erect yourself. You put them up. Find a nice spot. I've put a few here on this map. How many have I put? I put a tree stand. There's one tower. There's two. There's three. I know that one's... I don't know, it's, I think that one's already there. Or did I put that one there? I don't know. I've got two or three towers on this map. I didn't go two bananas. They usually like to walk and hunt. There we go, guys. The hunter called the wolf. How far have we walked? Let's look at the hunter, mate. There we go. We walked three and a half k's almost. 3,356 meters. We started at 7, it is now 11.31. I think we got four wolves, not a lot, but we didn't walk far. And I pretty much started, uh, where did I start? Here at this tent, we walked along Tower 1. This is Tower 2, where we are now. Then we set up there on the bridge, so we've only walked just down there. And look how big this map is. Like, you got all that area, but up here is the... What's up there? Them rams and the parmajamas. Parmigans, whatever you call them. I just call them parmajamas. I'm not really interested in them either because they're just like shooting a pigeon. Wow, he is not paying attention, this guy. Oh, he's sensing something. See him stop then and have a look around. Oh, there we go, guys. Beautiful map, four wolves, and I'm done. Yeah, he's seen us. Right, there, right up there, look at him. He's going up through the houses. Or the little cottages or whatever they are. That's not part of this map, that's snow, pretty sure. Or is that rock? Yeah, you got a lot of bears crossing here too. I'm lucky today we didn't get killed. I was a bit worried about that because it can happen, it will happen. It has happened to me on this map a fair few times. So there we go guys, hope you enjoyed that one. I enjoyed it, nice to come out here again. Like I said, I haven't been here for about a year. Finally got out here again, had a bit of a hunt. But I probably won't be back here until the mule deer allowed to be hunted for free. We'll come back, we'll do a bit of shotgunning on them and rifle hunting, even a bit of bow hunting. I always find them really interesting to hunt. You can just sit in the towers and call them in. You can get in the tree stand. A lot of nice tree stand areas around here you can set up. And mule deer will just come one after the other if you're using a bow. Alright, Buster, say goodbye. We are out of here, buddy. Good to see you again. See you in about a month's time. Thanks for dropping by, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one, and I'll catch you on the next one.